Warning, this video is only for the age of 14 and older. If you're not the age of 14, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here. Hey guys, what's up? So, um, today we're going to review in the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Dox Class Blades Master. Now, before you guys going to say anything, did I already make a review last year? I, I actually did. But it didn't turn out so well. So because of my 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 anger issue. So yeah, it didn't turn out so well. So I had no choice to, but to do it. Now before I will continue this, <clears throat> sorry about that. My voice I just voice cracked a little bit. Now before I'm gonna continue this, be advised this video made for adults and teenage collectors. For the age of 14 and older. So if you're not, if you're a younger audience, I would advise to leave now. And that pretty much just it. So yes, now, I don't care why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it over and over again. To my warning video that already begins. I'll say it again. So I could, so you guys can rem remind you again. So this is not made for younger audience. Like 13 to youngest. So yes. Anyways. This figure, um, I had this in Christmas since 2009. Now, along with Blaze Master, I have Sideswipe, which I had to tell you guys a little bit of a sad, dark story. Now, as I was putting my Sideswipe figure in my Blaze Master, I was uh, checking around the articulation of Sideswipe, and unfortunately, being my nine year self, my nine year old self. It is stupid, and I'm pretty um, dumb since I was nine because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I accidentally snapped his leg off by accident. So I asked my parents to help me to try to fix it. We try every day, nothing. So if you guys do have an extra side so I figure, leave the comment down below because I actually do need like to replace his entire body. And just replace it with a new one, with the new leg, and I promise you guys I will made it. I'll show you a review on this. And yes, I did cut some painted. Just get a little bit of silver. So yes. Anyways, if you guys do have an extra size, so I figured, so let me know so I could replace the entire body, just the whole body with the leg, and that's it. Anyways, back to the review. So Blaze Master is his um, helicopter mode is pretty good. If you guys are wondering why there's silver on him, I did a custom paint to it with a silver marker. It didn't turn out so well, so I had to try everything to custom paint him, but I'd rather just like leave him like this, like give him like some like you can see his, his original uh, plastic was covered white, so I'm gonna give him like uh, stay like this, like like he's in a battle or something. So yeah, but anyways, the detailing, the detailing of this helicopter. And the sculpting is pretty nice. Now this mold was used again and again, and now this mold was used again in the Nesco Global Alliance series as Evac, and they use it again at the Hunt for the Decepticon series, known as Tail Whip, a Decepticon helicopter. So yes, um, his wheels does roll pretty f well. I do want to mention that his uh, little um. Things right here can fold up pretty nicely. Now, unfortunately, on this side right here is loose for some reason. I don't know why. He does have one feature, which is there's a little little rod right here. If you push it down, it spins. He has on a gear function on the. Which, which this piece will be in the robot arms. It do, I like this function a lot. It's one of the greatest one ever. You can see the detail in Channel 7 Action News. You can see Blaze Master head right here. Apologize. Now, Blaze Master was not shown in a movie, but he did show in one of the comic books. I don't know which one it is. But this figure is, is good. I, I like this one a lot. So yeah, the helicopter is pretty 
good because it's not showing any robot kibble. But would you transform it to helicopter to robot? Things will probably go south. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Now, to transform Blaze Master into robot mode, what you want to do is remove his this piece right here. Do not lose this piece because you probably need this for this figure. Now, while I was playing Blaze Master, the little piece right here broke off, so I lost it a long time ago, so yes. Now, starting off, you want to um, fold this thing, these side pieces out, and carefully on tab this back piece right here. The color scheme of this one, the, the gold with the uh, darker blue, nice color scheme. I know a lot of people are going to say it's look terrible. I don't, I don't care. It looks awesome. Now come by from the, the nose of the helicopter, fold it down like that. And don't forget to, um, to fold down these these little thingies right here. I don't know the name of it. On tab the rest will, sh uh, which will be the robot legs, and fold this up like that. Now let's start off with the robot legs. Now, I was pretty dumb because I didn't know what I'm doing. I fold out the entire leg and fold it up like that. But the actual transformation is, what you want to do is fold everything out, fold the feet like that. That's what I did since I was little. But but the actual thing is, you want to fold this like that, fold this thing right here, so it'll be the robot leg. Yeah, it's in a, it's a, it's in a chicken leg. I don't know, people call it the chicken leg syndrome or something, I don't know what the hell it is. Do the same thing on the other side. Fold it down. Do it like that. And there you go, now you got boys master legs re ready to go. Now you want to make sure everything can get out of the way. Fold out the panels right here and un unpeg everything. Now, this is a major problem because there's a bunch of helicopter cables and in the way. You want to fold these things out. And the comic uh, is shown he has some hands, but in the toy version he doesn't have any hands. So. Now, there's another syndrome called the no hand syndrome. One of the toys doesn't have any hands, so yeah, this kind of sucks. Now, this thing is on a hinge right here, well, swivel. You want to make sure you fold everything out. Don't forget to fold this thing up, of course. I forgot to mention one thing. Close this thing right here because it's in a, a uh, hinge right here. Close it up. Fold it out like this. Bend the this piece right here. Sometimes the helicopter cable can get in the way, so you want to make sure you have it and this like this, and do the same thing on the other side. Fold it out as well. Come on. Sometimes the arms will pop off pretty easily. Now you want to make sure the unfold this t top piece right here from the helicopter. Make sure you want to peg these two things together. You can see his head sculpt showing up. Now for the back piece. Now it's on a bunch of a lot of hinge, so you want to fold it up like. Oh, come on. Fold it up like this swing like that it's in a peg now I'll kind of miss up one part I thought this whole piece will connect it right here but you want to actually want to connect it here and you want to do it perfectly if I don't go mad again I want to make sure the legs I'm going to fold out the legs a little bit. You can get out of the way. Oh, you want to tap. You want to connect it with the white piece right here. Not the gold piece. I am that stupid. 
I am so stupid. Press that for respect, guys. There we go. Now you want to peg this in. Sw swivel it up. Unpeg the whole thing like that. Now sometimes these pieces right here pop off and you wanna don't forget to extend these as well. Come on. Work with me. Fold this up. Fold it down. I mean sorry. Now fold this up. I wanna make sure everything is in perfectly good. Angle at the these right here. You want to make sure you want to have it perfectly. Now these things unpeg, so one piece will go over here. And the other side will go over here. But like I said, uh, mine broke off, so I'm going to do it over here. Got to make sure Blaze Master can stand up perfectly now I'm gonna pull the camera up a little bit more probably need to fix the legs on the tripod I have please don't fight with me and there we go now you have Blaze Master in his robot mode the transformation is was a pain of you know where is is a, a lot of pain to do it so yeah gonna make sure the the cockpit of the helicopter can get in the way and yeah that's one of the bigger issues with this figure is the helicopter cable can get in the way of everything the articulation the posing and everything so yeah but anyways here it is, what he looks like. The detailing, the sculpting of this figure is pretty cool. I want to mention one thing, and this piece. I'm pegging myself. Please, get back. The roll mode is look perfect, but like I said, the only major problem is, is the helicopter cable can get in the way. Now, zooming closely on his head sculpt. Okay, probably need to zoom up a little bit more. A little bit more. Because he has his scope, what he looks like. I like what the uh, Hasbro did to the detail of the head scope, but I wish to give him some more paint to him. Articulation-wise, his head is in a ball joint. That means it does go 36 degrees, but because of the way the body looks, uh, it's kind of, you know, useless, so yeah. His shoulder, part of the arm can go... It's an abortion as well, so it does go in and out like that. I'm probably going to do it on the other side. Like this. Bend at the uh, elbow like that. Another bend in the elbow, so double elbow joint. This one's on a ball joint. This one's on a hinge right here. No waist articulation, sadly. Leg can go forward. Not that much backwards. does go in and out like that. Bicep swivel. Well, another bicep swivel as well. Bend at the knee right here, and also that, but that due to the transformation. Well, it goes in a ball joint, you could, so you can pivot and does go 360 degrees. So you do get some decent posing of this figure. So yeah, you can still do the gimmick as well. If I like to do, it, if you try to, if you're playing with someone having like you know, um, spring loaded missiles, now you can have this. Just make sure your hand doesn't get in the way. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, because, you know, the robot cable can get in the way. Everything can get in the way, I don't know why. I think I messed up on something, I need, I probably need to stop the, uh, pause the recording for a minute. Um, I think I did something wrong, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I sorry about that. I forgot to show you again. One thing, you guys. This this whole piece right here is in a, it's in a little hinge right here. So that means you have to bend it down a little bit so you can connect it perfectly. Instead of, you know, forcing this piece to go up. 
I'm going to give it the final posing of this figure. Let's see, come on, baby, let's go. There we go, there we go. This is the perfect pose. Now, overall, Blaze Master is one of the great, it's okay, it's an okay figure. Just be careful with the panel lining, and also the instruction does kind of confuse me a little bit. So, we'll close in, in the instruction, so yes. So if you guys do want to get a Boys Master figure, make sure you find any local eBay. Probably Flea Market have it. I don't know, Amazon will probably have it, probably not. So that pretty much I say for now is yes. You guys already know the rules. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Steam, Discord, Twitch, and Origin. And that pretty much I say for now. And so, and also if you guys like, like, uh, see, like to, uh, sorry, like video, video games, I will recommend to go to my main, one of my gaming channel and check it out. Just go to my main channel. Go to the channel, and you can see my gaming channel, and there you go. Just click the subscribe button, and please make sure to subscribe me and give me some more viewers, you guys, because I don't want to get terminated. So, yes, please, I, I beg of you. And also, if you guys do have an extra sideways figure for this series, I'm adjusting the new body piece so I can replace the legs, and that pretty much is it for now. You could barely stand up, but just look. Yeah. So like I said, you guys, and also if you guys want to see more Revenge of the Fallen uh, videos, go to my main channel, go to the playlist, and check it out. And that pretty much I it for now. So until next time, you guys, I'm out.